The iconic Alexandra Palace is packed with everything to do with the world in miniature. Individuals, clubs and societies have brought thousands of scale models to the 24th London Model Engineering Exhibition. From ride-on locomotives to intricately built engineering marvels. It's the sheer range that strikes me, from uh, paddle steamers to steam gondolas to, of course, military models. Look at this one here, wonderful representation of HMS Manchester. But while I love the scale of this one, it's something altogether smaller that's really got my attention. And when I say smaller, the models are one twelve hundredth scale, but the sheer number of them is absolutely vast. Over 750 naval ships through time, designed and built by Jack Snary. There's every battleship the Royal Navy ever had and every big gunship they ever had. I then went back to show how they came about by the ships of the line. And then, well, I've got to go back, back even further. And I went back to the, the Nile Reed ship is the oldest depicted identifiable ship. Your most recent modern one is HMS Queen Elizabeth. Yes. How was she to build? You bloody hard. <laughs> <laughs> Um, mainly because it's, it's, it's actually three draw because I do my own drawings anyway. It's three pages of drawings of it. Each ship is painstakingly made out of sheet plastic, and the whole collection's been valued at £70,000. Elsewhere, Meccano takes centre stage, and the work of George Illingworth, the retired TA colonel, with a fascination for building fire engines, including those that operated in military roles. I made contact with the, um, with the RAF, of course, the museum where they have the firefighting vehicles. That museum has been supporting me with drawings and other information, which helps to get the detail. Because if people have said to me, when you're making these models, and it applies to all the fire engines, you've got to understand what you're actually trying to reproduce. This year's show is placing a special focus on military modelling. And the venue itself has a strong military link. Alexandra Palace was a processing centre for troops rescued from the Dunkirk beaches 80 years ago this year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.